Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how you can add a custom icons like as per our expectation as per our business needs because there is a lot of um, icons there in already in Power BI but still if you want to add a custom icon and also add animated icons into this you can also do that. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So basically, if you go to this table and formatting options and go to conditional formatting and you need to select the column and at the bottom you have this icon. So if you turn on this one and also click on advanced control, you have these options I'm not going to cover this in this video. I have already made a video about the conditional formatting of the table. If you want to see that, you can just click on the link given on the description or on the top of the screen. So coming back here, the icons which you have, these are the defaults. These are the default icons which you can use, but the bottom four is the icon which I have added manually. So I can also use that from here. So default is this one. Even though if you select any of the value and later on you can come back here and change it manually because the new icons which you are adding up, it's not going to come up in this list. You just need to select the list which is as per your need. Like for an example, you have the five digit requirement, you can use any of these. If you have the four digit, you can use any of these. And if you have three, you can use any of these. And then you can come back here and select your own icon like this is how if you want to use you can use that so and then if you click on ok it will apply this logic into your table this is cool right so in order to work that there are two things which you need to do the first thing is you need to convert your image into a 64 bit and then you need to add a json into the theme right those two things also not complicated it's an easy process you can do that so first of all let's go and how to make i mean let's go and check how to convert the image into a 64 bit format if you look at this image this looks like a burning image right so maybe it's a hot topic we can say so i'm going to use this gif we can also use the image as well as the gif file so i'm going to use the gif file for this demo and how you can able to convert this into an icon which you can use it in power bi actually you need to search for convert image to base64 online i'm going to use this one base64 encoder.io so here i need to upload the image i'm clicking on this one selecting the file open Okay, here is a base64 encoding string and here is a base64 image source. So actually we need to copy this whole thing even though their character is huge. Click on that, copy the value and keep it in your clipboard. Now open a notepad and then you need to use this JSON format. It's basically first an curly bracket open and then give it a name declaration and give it a name for this and then declare again for the icons colon and also use the curly bracket and then you need to add one by one whatever the image you have here i have these pi symbols which i have shown you just before and at the bottom of that i want to add one more thing so i'm going to enter here comma give it a name burning fire and double quote and then colon and curly bracket on and then double quote description and double quote and then colon again double quote and I'm going to use the name fire comma and then double quote url double quote and colon and then again double quote paste whatever you have copied and at the end double quote and then the curly bracket 
So I'm using uh, the Notepad++, which is the advanced version of Notepad, we can say. So it has lots of functionality. So I like it. So I'm using it for these kind of stuffs. So I just save this one, this PyIcons.json. And then let's go to Power BI, go to View, and then click on this one, Browse for Theme. And the one which I have used is PyIcons.json. Click on Open. It will give you a message, the theme was imported successfully. Even though we have not, theme generally consists of everything like the uh, background color, font colors, font size, text size, everything. But here we just added a part, right? It's not going to override those things. It's going to add this on top of that, inside to that. So going back again to the formatting of this table in the icons, advanced control. If I click here and if I look at this value instead of this one, here I can see two of the values. Looks like I have already added that. So I can select any of the value and then click on OK. So you can see it here, this is now has a burning symbol, right? So now this adds a burning symbol to this one, right? So this is how you can able to add a custom image or custom GIF file as an icon into your Power BI report. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. We have done two steps here. One is basically converting the image or GIF into a 64 base. And then we have added a theme imported into Power BI. So if you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.